Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today's video is a wiring tutorial for connecting the SkyDroid C13 to the SkyDroid G20. The SkyDroid C13 is a 3-axis gimbal that integrates a 5MP visible light camera, a 640 thermal imaging sensor and a laser rangefinder. The SkyDroid G20 remote controller is equipped with Qualcomm's latest 6 nanometers processor and the Android 13 system. It can easily handle hardware decoding of H.264, H.265 and 4K video streams and run various types of ground station software smoothly. This video is divided into three parts. What products are used in this test? How to connect the wiring? How to display the video feed? What products are used in this test? The products used include the SkyDroid C13 gimbal camera, SkyDroid G20 remote controller, and a Tattoo 11.1V battery. The cables used include a Network Plus power cable and the SkyDroid G20 receiver power cable. How to connect the wiring? Connect the C13's POW Plus LAN port to the LAN port on the SkyDroid G20 receiver. The C13 connector is GH1.257 pin, and the G20 receiver connector is GH1.254 pin. Power on the C13 gimbal camera. Then power on the SkyDroid G20 receiver. The receiver uses an XT30 connector. How to display the video feed? Turn on the remote controller and open the Gimbal FPV app. If the screen remains black, click the switch button at the bottom menu and find the C13 icon. Click to enter. The first icon is the video recording button, the second is for taking photos, and the third enables the floating window. Now let's look at the fourth option, Parameter Settings. Image Parameters. Adjust various image-related settings. Gimbal Control. Offers target tracking and three control methods which can be enabled simultaneously. Dome calibration. The dome effect is factory calibrated. Due to the special calibration process, please do not recalibrate unless necessary. Contact our technical support before doing so. AI gimbal. Enables object tracking of selected areas.
Gimbal Calibration Factory Calibrated Do not click unless there is an issue with the gimbal. Mounting Mode Switch between Upright and Inverted Modes Please mount the gimbal correctly based on the selected mode to avoid motor damage. Gimbal Speed Choose between Constant and Variable Speed Modes. Palette Adjust the Thermal Imaging Style 11 options are available. Click on Settings to configure the encoding mode, screen flip, camera firmware version and OSD display. Crosshair Laser Rangefinder Click to perform single point laser ranging. Effective range is 5m to 1 km. Reverse line Side buttons Quick down your reset, full reset, and zoom control. Enter the settings again. The first video URL is for C13's visible light stream. The second is for C13's thermal imaging stream. Copy the URLs. Open QGC and go to application settings. In the general tab, set the video type to RTSP video stream. Paste the video URL, return to the flight interface, and you will see the C13 video feed. The thermal imaging feed follows the same procedure. Next, open the Yunjua Ground Station app, Fly GCs. Click the top left menu, then Common Settings, followed by Other Settings. Enter the user interface, then select the video window and choose C13. The ground station will then display the C13 video feed. That concludes the tutorial on connecting the SkyDroid C13 gimbal camera to the SkyDroid G20 remote controller. In this video we introduced the required equipment and cables, explain the standard wiring steps, 
and showed how to view and configure the video stream using the G20 controller and its corresponding ground station software. Thank you for watching and supporting us. If you have any questions about the video or would like us to go deeper into a specific part in a future episode, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to follow the World Drone Market channel for more reviews, tutorials, and user guides on drone equipment. See you in the next video.